and welcome back to my channel designs by Akshu so today we are going to discuss in this video about what is the difference between Google Sketchup and 3ds Max and which software must be used for interior design and anything like facade design or any other structural unit you want to design so which is the best software and which is the handy software so yes this is the video wherein all your doubts will be cleared and you could understand a proper difference between these two softwares which is 3ds max or google sketchup so i am just going to put up uh, my point of views i'm not going to say that use this only use this only because uh, it may differ on your point of view as well so it's up to you that which software is easy according to you I am just here to differentiate both the softwares according to its capability and its type. So let's get started. But before moving further, I have made this video because one of my subscriber, his name is Samik Sharma2926. He has commented me that, hello ma'am, I am a structural engineer and I am keenly interested to learn interior design and facade design. So could you please explain which one is better in between 3ds max and sketchup so he has commented me so this video is for all those subscribers uh, or for all those people who want to know that what is the actual difference between sketchup and 3ds max and which one is better to go for it so let's get started so basically what i have opened is the sketchup because i think for my use and my for my daily uh, the work which i go on and on doing it like the interior work the landscaping now the project as you can see which i have opened is the landscape one and i probably use the sketchup only and i feel comfortable using it because i feel like my hands itself are working on sketchup instead of like the various the tools which are placed over here i don't find them to be very difficult to use so these two tools which you can see in the toolbar I feel like they are very easy to use and each tool as you can see it describe itself that how you have to use it. Yes, in 3ds Max is also it is present but if you carefully observe the interface of 3ds Max, already the interface of 3ds Max looks like it is difficult but yes, it's not difficult to learn but some people find like no ye mere se nahi hoga. it is a bit difficult and even the tools you can see it it feels like no i cannot use this tool and you feel like afraid to use it and then you find some uh, videos on youtube and also what is the meaning of that tool and then you start searching and then you start using it so instead of what just go through those both the softwares if you feel like this is the one then start making surveys and then start doing the practices of what you want to do so basically i feel this interface of google sketchup is very easy and accessible wherein you can see all the tools are very easy to understand and basically if you like uh, samik sharma has mentioned that he is a structural engineer so it does not depend what are what is your profession like if you're a structural engineer if you're architect if you're interior design that's the, that doesn't matter at all because already sketchup and 3ds max are the heaviest software if you're using it and 3ds max is the most heaviest because it has a lot of polygon and all different methods and uh, you know criteria used into it and there is very a lot of detailed work done but only those who are under like animation and all those profession only those people can do it very uh, you know easily and for them it is very very easy to you know handle all the tools easily because it's it's like you cannot use sketchup as an animation tool if you are under animation field so 3ds max is for those who want to create a lot of animations and it depends on that also that you're you're using 3ds max maya that depends on that so basically um i am going to differentiate mostly the sketchup because i feel sketchup is the most comfortable one and as you can see the 
this is the landscape which uh, I have created. These are the cottages. So as you can see, very difficult. You can see a uh, trigonometry, all the object types have been used. And I have used Enscape Assist Library. As you can see, the plants and all effects I've added. So in the same way, if you want some plants or other accessories like the lights, the showcase plants, you get easily for SketchUp because we have Enscape as the plugin to use it like the plants and all. If you want to do facade design and all and if you require some plants to be placed in it or if you want the plants to be hanged. In 3ds Max, it's difficult to find the hanging plants. If you search in Cosmos browser in 3ds Max, it becomes difficult to you know get the exact plant you want right if you see this is the cosmos browser okay uh, and if you search whatever you want so it basically it gives you the limitations to use and not every time we keep on creating such plants we always take an other way that is to download some models and place it on wherever we want to but in the same way if you find in sketchup it is very easy because you have two options either you go on the site that is the 3d warehouse you have number of options and the other thing is you can have enscape plugin wherein you can use the assist asset library usme bahut sare plants hai the difference the various of you have the variety of plants you have variety of objects what are you whatever you are desiring for so you don't have limitations you have options that is the 3d warehouse and the other is enscape so i think if you want to add greenery and if you want to add the artifacts so the better option is to go for sketchup but if you want to just create proper you know fluffy objects if you want to create a proper scene and if you want to create just the main focused part like for example if i want to create only the bed and the bed back wall so only those part will be differentiated in 3ds max other all things like if i want to add some beautiful sconces that is the wall mounted lights or other artifacts like plants and all it will be be difficult to you know uh, to find out the desired model which you want okay so basic models are given only those you can use it but yes if you talk about the quality render and the product of course 3ds max if you want the realistic renderings in v-ray you have to go for 3ds max then you cannot go for sketchup because sketchup is like it gives some at some end it gives you cartoonistic renders even if you're using v-ray but V-Ray of 3ds Max, it is a customizable plugin wherein you can customize a lot of things and then you can get your desire, your realistic render. So I would say if you're if you want the perfect render view, a perfect realistic render view of the exterior one, okay. Basically, I'm talking about the exterior one, then you must go for 3ds Max. But if you want some live videos like for example i'll show you the landscape designing in live performance you will understand that what is the difference actual difference between uh, sketchup and 3ds max now in enscape i have created one video into which all the surroundings are moving and animation has been created and you can see these animations can be possible in just few seconds in only SketchUp with the help of Enscape. Such animations will not take place in 3ds Max. So I hope so you have got the difference between these two and you will select the proper software for your further workings. So this was all about the difference between SketchUp and 3ds Max. So hope you choose the better one for yourself. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, see you soon in the next video.